Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar here with MLB 13 The Show, and we've got some Atlanta Braves franchise coming your way right here as we face the Los Angeles Dodgers. Now, both teams, as you can see here, have been doing really, really well this season. So the Dodgers are a force to be reckoned with. I'm going to have to be absolutely careful uh, in this game, and I can't underestimate anybody or else I'm going to come away with another loss. I don't want to have two losses in a row here that I show on YouTube. So anyway, we're going to get to the game. Miner is going to be starting on the mound for me. Kershaw is going to be pitching for the Dodgers in this one. So Crawford on the very first pitch of the game. Just a fastball low and inside. That one gets right past Johnson and adjusting up there in the left. So that's going to be a single here. All right. So I was going to go ahead and post a Diamond Dynasty game. I want to apologize that I did not, but uh, what happened is the recording got um, uh, all messed up. So that is uh, something I'm not too happy about because that's one more game I have to go back and replay, one more contract game that I lost from all of the players. So I guess maybe not, might not be too bad since we'll get to Snack Bars 2.0 here pretty quick. But anyway, so uh, Andre Ethier up at the plate. Got to be careful about him. Now, uh, one of the things that's nice about going with Miner here is there are a lot of lefties uh, coming up to the plate here for the Dodgers in this game, of course, Ethier being one of them. So it'll give me a little bit of an advantage here. I would have been worried if I was going with uh, just about any other pitcher in my starting rotation. Uh, but we'll be all right. 0-2 count right now to Ethier, the slider. Look at that. I mean, just right on the edge of the plate swings and misses at that one all right justin upton now up at the plate here for the braves in the bottom of the first oh two count and this is going to be the first hit of the game for the braves and is that going to be enough absolutely it will be so the braves on their very first hit of the game it is a home run so justin upton making it one to nothing right here a lot of power of course from the braves actually a great balance you know i've had some power i have some speed on the base pads just all around, this has been a great team to go ahead and play with. And we start the game off here on the right track. So Dodgers are going to have to play catch up for the rest of this one. We're going to keep things going, though, here. Top of the second. Ooh, that one's fouled straight back. All right, so we're going to go with the 4 seed fastball. High and it's side right here. That is what I was meaning to show. A good hit into center field. I was not going to be able to get there with BJ Upton. So it looks like we're going to have a run come home for the Dodgers. I forgot to show that first hit, but that's okay. So the game is now going to be tied here. Dodgers fighting back in inning number two. Brian McCann up at the plate. Very first pitch of his at bat. This one is going deep. Not going to be a home run, but I'm going to go ahead and round second. I'm going to head over to third. Is this going to be a triple with McCann? It is. If that throw would have been on target over the third, definitely would have been out. A very risky play right here to be able to go with, but honestly, it was the smart thing to do since we were able to make it there. So we have got two outs, two strikes, two balls. Dan Ugla with a hit in the left field. That's going to allow McCann to come home. The lead once again belongs to the Braves here. Two to one is the score. So a big hit right now for Ugla. Big turnaround here too for him. Angelton Simmons in the bottom of the third here. That one's going up the middle. Not going to be uh, something that we see a play coming from that one. So Angelton Simmons on first. Now with Kershaw, not too comfortable about stealing here. So we're going to be holding Angelton Simmons over at first. At a 78 speed, uh, I think he'd be out. But another one over the plate here. That's going to go into left field. We'll have runners on first and second. So Johnson getting a hit. We're still doing good right here. I'm sure that uh, the Dodgers are regretting making that mistake over at short. Okay, Justin Upton, who had that home run earlier, this one. It's going to roll into right field. Angelton Simmons rounds third, comes home. So even though I wasn't able to steal second with him, I still am able to utilize his speed right here. All right. So are we going to be seeing Kershaw come out, or is Don Mattingly just going to have a little discussion with him? Really has kind of come apart here in the last few innings, so it looks like it's just going to be a discussion. He'll still be in the game. Freddie Freeman now with runners on first and second on his first pitch of the at-bat. This one's going to roll in the center. Johnson's going to round third. 
Big mistake, except for the fact that it worked. It worked. That's another one. If that throw would have been right on target, we would have looked at an out. So, whew. All right. Two uh, risky moves I've had on the base pass. Both of them have paid off. This one goes right down the line. Hanley Ramirez could turn this into a double. I'm going to make the throw here from left. And Hanley Ramirez is safe at second. So a double for the Dodgers right here. Very early on. So now with two outs, could be able to bring him home here, depending on what happens on this one. Another one right down the left field line. So Justin Upton's going to pick it up, make the throw home. That, of course, is not going to be in time. A little bounce right there by McCann. All right, so Dodgers get another run, closing the gap here. I still hold the lead, though, here in the fifth inning. Four runs to two. Crawford, who had the opening hit. Well, he's going to crush this one. Since I don't see anything, I know that is going to be a home run. So Crawford, with that solo shot, is now going to make it a one-run game. The Dodgers are fighting back. My bats in the last couple innings have been virtually non-existent. So it seemed like after Don Mattingly came in and talked to Clayton Kershaw about what was going on, that definitely did it for him. So he's been pitching a lot better, not throwing nearly as much over the plate or you know having curveballs hang or anything like that. So it's been a problem for me, but things have been going good for the Dodgers. Minor definitely struggling here uh, in the fifth inning. So here we go in inning number six. Number four to three is the score. That one goes right up the middle, so a single right here. Kind of surprised we didn't see anything from Minor trying to take a stab at it or anything like that to prevent it from rolling into the outfield, but that's okay. Maybe we'll be able to turn two, so I'm going to be throwing a lot of pitches very low. And it looks like that's exactly what Mark Ellis was going to be expecting here. So Hayward trying to make the throw over to first. It is not going to be in time. Runners on first and second now. Mark Ellis getting the job done here for the Dodgers. Okay. So this one deep in the left field. It's going to go to the wall. Not going to be able to make a play on that one. So A.J. Ellis really gets a good hit. I have a bad play on that one. And that allows the run to come home. So the game is now tied with runners on first and second. Hopefully Dodgers aren't able to go ahead and get a lead right here. One, two count. Ethier. Ooh, good stop. Wasn't going to be able to make a play over at second, I thought, here. But with Angels and Simmons making that diving stop, wasn't able to get Ethier out at first. So we're going to take a look at this again because this is my first diving stop. Maybe I could have gone over to Ugla at second. It would have been very close, but hindsight's 20-20. So nothing I can do about it now. The count is full. This one rolls in a right. Gonna try and make the play. Ah, dang it. Wouldn't have been able to make it there either. I should have brought Miner out here in the fifth inning. I shouldn't have kept in here in inning number six. Mark Ellis comes back up to the plate here in inning seven. So we got Ventures in now instead of Miner. Trying to see if we can hold him back. Another lefty. Again, for that same reason that we saw earlier. So strike right now to, or strike one, excuse me, to Mark Ellis, who I'm a big fan of, actually, because of his stint uh, as an Oakland A. Definitely uh, a consistent second baseman for us. So seeing him kind of in the, the Dodgers uniform is always a little bit different for me, but you know what? That's okay. All right, going to try and throw it inside Ellis, and it works. Swings that one. It was way too far inside. That was kind of embarrassing here, but was able to jam it. All right, so O'Flaherty now is going to be coming in here in inning number nine. Again, we got to make sure that we hold the Dodgers right here. All right, Matt Kemp now up the plate. This is dangerous, of course. Nobody is on uh, base, though, so the worst thing that could happen is a solo shot from Kemp for a home run. So fouls that one off to the left for strike one. Matt Kemp, definitely one of the few people that I fear in this game, knowing full well what he has the capability of doing. So the sinker goes for strike two. That one barely catches the outside part of the plate here to Kemp. So with the 0-2 count, I do have the ability to mess around a little bit here with a few things. We're going to try a slider here. We'll start off on the outside of the plate, see if we can break it towards the middle, but ah-ha-ha! 
That's just sheer luck, I'm not gonna lie. That's not where I wanted it to go, but Kemp strikes out anyway. All right, Brandon in the league gonna be coming in here for the Dodgers in the bottom of the ninth, see if he can go ahead and get the save. All right, Chris Johnson. 2-0 count now. So we've been seeing a few bad pitches here. That one over the heart of the plate. We're gonna send that one into right center. All right, so the tying run is up at the plate here. Chris Johnson doing what he needs to do to help the team out. Couldn't ask for too much more for him or from him here than getting on base. So Agon and him having a little discussion. Justin Upton who had the home run earlier. Oh my gosh, keep going, keep going. That is gonna tie the game up here in the bottom of the ninth. Justin Upton with two home runs on the day. This is of course the most important home run of the two of them because the game is now tied. So at the bare uh, minimum here, or worst case scenario, we're looking at extra innings. Maybe I'll be able to get one more here to go ahead and win this game in the bottom of the ninth. So Dan Ugla, runners on first and second. Now two outs, 0-1 count. I watched one that I shouldn't have. They swing at that one way too far inside. A.J. Ellis makes the catch, and we are going into extra innings. Top of the 10th. Count is full. That one's going to head over to Johnson, who makes it through. Over to first. So we're done with top of 10. Chris Capuano coming in now for relief for the Dodgers here in the bottom of the 10th. All important for them here. Any type of run that I can get, of course, is going to go ahead and end the game here. Chris Johnson going to hit this one to short. Throw over to first. That is it for bottom of 10. So Jordan Walden's going to be coming in here for the Braves in the 11th inning. Got to make sure I keep some uh, fresh pitchers in here. Now, usually inning number 11 is as far as I go with extra innings. Now, the computer is telling me to walk Matt Kemp here with runners on second and third with two outs. The count is full, and we force him to pop it up. So I pitched to him, and I came away here on top because I pitched to him, too. All right, I know I'm not able to show too much here of what's going on. I apologize, but for the sake of time, I want to make sure I'm you know, kind of going through the important stuff here. That's going to be it here for uh, 12, I think. So Ted Lilly coming in here in the bottom of the 12. Doesn't have the best ERA, sitting at 9 over 11 innings. Six walks, four strikeouts. 2-2 two -two count right now in the bottom of 12. That one. Ooh, it's going to be caught. So I could have gotten a run right there. That was actually really tough because uh, if I hadn't have struck out, I could have tagged up right there and probably would have won. Roy Oswalt now coming into the game here for uh, the 13th inning. I figure I'm going to be keeping going or keep going with this here for quite a while. Ethier. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Roy Oswalt for the second time goes ahead and ruins this game for me. Ethier with the solo shot. So now the lead is with the Dodgers. I remember earlier, I was like, I should trade this guy. I should move him down to AAA. I don't know, but I could have gone with a couple other people. I decided to go with Roy Oswell, and he lets me down. All right. So, 7 to 6 now. Two outs. A gone. We hit that one over to Ugla at second. He makes a play to Freeman over at first. All right. So, this is huge. Bottom of the 13th, Chris Johnson. That one, oh, barely gets past Agon. All right. So the tying run is on first. The game winning run is at the plate. Justin Upton, remember, he's had two home runs today. Now with this one, he's going to, no, I'm just kidding, he's not gonna make it three. All right, so that one rolls in the left. Runners on first and second. Kind of worried about a double play right here or something like that, but. You know, I've got Johnson in scoring position. He's not the fastest as we saw earlier. Now, Jason Hayward, who has some real power. Lilly, though, a lefty, too. All right, with this, Johnson is not going to round third and come home. Definitely would have been out right there. Ellis would have been able to tag him. Okay. Freddie Freeman now, no outs. 0-1 count here, too. And on this one. 
Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. A walk-off grand slam for Freddie Freeman. Braves win this one here. 11, or excuse me, 10 to seven. Wow. I've already had two grand slams before this one here in MLB 13 the show. I never ever had a walk-off grand slam though. Wow, what a great game. This has been absolutely awesome. I appreciate you guys watching this. Remember, more Braves franchise to come later on. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, all that great jazz. Just check the description below. But my gosh, what a great game. Thanks again for watching. I do appreciate it. And as always, you guys, I hope you have a good one.